Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve you to come across the certificate was not successfully installed script error on your Windows computer. So this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve it without too much of a hassle and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best match to come back to Registry Editor. You want to right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So, in order to create the backup, if you're unaware, it's very simple. Go ahead and left click on the File tab and then select Export. File name, usually I'd recommend saving it to a convenient location on your computer. Usually I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. Export range should be selected to all and then you just go ahead and left click on the save button and if you ever need to import it back in just put left click on the file tab and then select import and navigate to the file location so pretty straightforward process of how to do both of those so once you have that out of the way ready to begin so the first thing if you're running Windows 7 you want to expand the HK current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on the arrow next to it to expand the drop down. If you're on Windows 10, you want to expand the HK local machine folder. All the other folders and subfolders we're going into after this point will be the same. However, if you're on Windows 10, like I said, go underneath HK local machine. Windows 7, use HK current user. So if you don't see the correct folders that we're going to be going through, you're probably on the wrong folder here. So just backtrack to this point. So like I was saying, I'm on Windows 10, so I'm going to expand HK local machine, double clicking on that to expand it. I'm going to do the same thing for the software folder. Same thing for the Microsoft folder now. And now there should be something that says Windows script host. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. And I'm going to go ahead and expand that. And there should be a settings folder underneath of that. So go ahead and just left click on that one time. Now on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select D word 32 bit value. Type in enabled, so E N A B L E D. So exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, enabled. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now you want to double click on that. For value data, delete whatever is in here. Type the number one. Don't spell out one, just type the number one. Base should be hexadecimal, and then left click on OK to save that change. And once you're done with that, you should be able to close out of the registry editor at this time. I would preferably recommend restarting your computer and then attempt to run the script that you're having the problem with before, and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.